Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Dead 2. Last time we Ah uh, Yeah, we we did a quest that I had mixed feelings about, at least the first third of it. The sec the next two parts, nah. No one runs for me and no one knocks my hat off without paying the price. But anywho, today we're hopefully gonna do Karen's mission, do with some O'Driscoll's and probably finish up Strauss's thing if I have time. But before we get into this, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy this, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more. First things first, I'm going to go take a nap. Sleep. Morning. Uh, Karen should still be alive, hopefully. Or Kieran. How do you say his name again? It's been a while. Last time I talked to him, he sounded like he was going insane. <laughs> Not even kidding. Ah. Nice morning out. Now, I believe I have stuff to put in this box. Give all debts. That's a lot of money. So we're at 224. 291. Let's see if we can upgrade the camp at all. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all the money I have donated. <laughs> Look at all the money. Look at it all. And then there's one from Charles. One from Susan. And one from Bill. Yeah, let's spend thirty dollars in provisions. Quality and quantity of food available. The pantry is increased. You can pay to resupply the pantry when stocks are low. Yeah, let's make the, let's upgrade this camp. I got nearly three hundred. Some of this gets real expensive, it seems. Uh, proves are off. Ooh, that gives me arrows. Two twenty. Dutch. Why are you so The horses are expensive. Chicken coop. Leather working tools. I need this. So you know what? Do it. Just do it. I can now upgrade my satchel. I also just spent a ton of the camp's money. I hope they forgive me one day. I oh, have, I have an idea. I'll, I'll donate, I'll donate fifty and then buy a couple more upgrades. I'll donate fifty, so I can upgrade the camp a bit more. There you go, fifty dollars. Hey, give to the poor, cheap. Donate two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars. You guys should be happy. Uh, let's go with the ammo one, and that'll be the last thing I get for a little bit. I'll grind the camp money up off camera. It would just be nice to have uh, ammo available at all times, so I can just run by and grab it. There we go. We got medical supplies, ammo. I'm going to go grab some arrows, considering I know I'm out. Arthur, can you please start running while you're at camp? Oh, it's one at a time. That is an old gun. Where's the arrows? It's the arrows I was coming over here. Oh, they're right there. Yes, please. Yes, please. Alright, now that the camp is upgraded... Uh, of course, Dutch wants fancier living quarters and stuff like that. But leather working tools have finally been unlocked. Please, I'm begging you. Let me be able to afford something. Oh, no. I swear I had the deer. I have perfect rabbit. I need to craft 
every one of these to get the best one. Okay. Can I upgrade my lodging? I have a lot of stuff to go do, don't I? I have none of this, do I? Oh, I need to go hunting. Let's go. Hanging bones. It makes you feel a bit more like home. <laughs> what, hanging bones? Morning, Arthur. Hello, Tilly. Goodbye, Tilly. Please move. Please move. Oh, Lord. Please end it. <laughs> Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> then why do you have a mission? Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a while. Oh, shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? Uh... Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh... <laughs> Who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Oh. Cause you trouble. Oh. No, okay. Unix was among the happiest and most glorious okay. courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only I could have lived about this. <laughs> We got these little fellas all. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six oh. Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious. I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none. <laughs> okay, then, I like him even less than I like you. you. Few of us up there right now. I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Just saying this could have went my whole life about that. Let's both hope you ain't... Throwing knife? Driscoll. I ain't no old Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs made. We're bringing John? Where are we heading? Uh, up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. I'm trying, game. Arthur's moving at five miles in a year. That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. That is a nice horse. That is a big horse. That's a bigger horse. Ah, <sighs> man, I could have went my whole life about that. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. Dude! You, you worked with them! You smell like... God damn! You smell like one too. I smell like <laughs> horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere? Yeah, okay, I agree with that. It comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know. This Wait, have I think I've been to this cabin off camera? <laughs> Ha! <laughs> and I guess you're good here. 
Unless some soft-handed feller comes along and tells you you've gone too far. What are you talking about? Find that big bullock up in Valentine? How wise you think beating a man to death would have been? With all them folks looking on, when we supposed to be laying low. Arthur's right. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. Uh, I'll take it. After all, you are an authority on not being clever. <laughs> the captain gets a little cough in his throat, looks at you with some big doe eyes. You gonna let Comb go free? No. Fighting Comb when you was pretending to fight Indians. Don't call my record into question. It's your abilities that call your record into question, Bill. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. <laughs> <laughs> Argument going along. Guys, we're going left up here. We're going left. Also, Arthur having a heart says he that says he's a better person than you are, Bill. Those are the hills. He's also on. smart. Take your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh, you've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, been tied well, to a tree for weeks. I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, uh... it's not the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on him. So, here's the thing. Who knows if this son of a bitch we I kind of agree with him how the gangs are very similar. But right now, the Driscolls are worse. He won't be here. There's no way. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. Just getting ready. Come on in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. Oh no. A stealth mission? We move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. Alright then. Stealth. Stealth mission. Stealth, okay. Also, I've not been to this cabin. Whoa. We passed the cabin I've been to. <laughs> Uh hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. What's the deal with the music? My guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Bo make him a hand. Browse weapon sword in your horse. Yeah, I've already got all my weapons. Got all three of them. If only I had a suppressor, but that's where the bow and arrow comes in. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said. That easy. Whoa! I got the knives. Follow me. I didn't right? forget about them. It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. He's not wrong. Boy, but you lose your balls first. Oh, good grief. Not this again. I'm right there with you. <laughs> These guys have their pistols out me. Throwing knife. Okay. Get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? 
Where are your strangers, yup? In Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. And hey, over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. <laughs> doing about the pisser, Morgan. One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first floor. Okay. Go to work. Get the knives out. I won't play with these. Well, please let this work. Good. Oh, yeah, he's done. And hide the body. Ninety six hits. Good grief. What's the call? Ah, I didn't see him. I didn't see that guy. Oh, okay. I mean, they know we're here. Have some dynamite! I mean, Arthur's not wrong. Where are they? Oh, they're coming from behind. Oi! In the arm, in the head. Fifty percent level four. Let's go. I mean, I would too. Comb still here. Hey, he said Comb's be in cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Joe's losing my kills. How dare you? How dare you? All right, let's go. A dollar and ten. Good grief! The Triscuits are rich. Hide the eight cents. Good grief. Uh, there's the front. It's gonna trigger a cutscene, isn't it? I saw it coming. You all right? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I saw that out of the fireplace. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, swear. I mean, 
If I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. What? Oh, you got the no. cash then? What cash? Yeah, it's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. <laughs> See, I ain't so bad. Hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> uh, I actually like how he joined us. Man, that stealth mission did not end well. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Perfect. Shotgun shells. Man, if only I had a shotgun. <laughs> Slug. Oh, absolutely. I have a battering ram shell now for the. There's a pistol outside. On my map. Elixir. Ginseng. Oh, cool. Money clip. Oh, there's a few money clips. $15? $13? I'm rich. I'm richer than Dutch's, don't I'm not telling Rich how much money I got. He doesn't need to know that. Search this little nightstand, shall we? Can't carry any Ah, oh, nice. Some regular stuff. Fun. That's a double barrel shotgun. Maintain. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh my. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I finally got me a double barrel. Nah, the carbon repeater isn't the most uh, necessary thing. Buck. <laughs> the shotgun's name was Buck. At least you got something tucked away. Six hundred twelve headshots. Dagnabbit John, Bill, you took 200 from me. No, 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 I clicked the wrong button. Drop the Odrisco, I wanted to loot him. He seemed to be the one in charge of this, so surely he has something interesting on him. I see a D, that's for Dutch, isn't it? Dollar oh, 47, see, I told you I had something interesting on him. Yeah, okay, so I still got my repeater. Still sick with that double barrel, though. I have a double barrel. I haven't had a shotgun in ages. Mainly because they're so expensive. Alright, um, I guess I'm gonna head and do this. Do I have time for this? I have plenty of time for this. Oh, it was Dutch. Probably gonna go do, uh, Jose. That's my next one. Is there any other ones? Is that it? What? There's another one? Why are you so far down? Javi! I'm doing that next episode. <laughs> we gotta go rescue Sean. I have a double barrel shotgun. This is awesome. Probably don't need to have it out though. So let's just swap to my fist. Uh. Well, I'm back in Valentine. I was happy I was finally able to use my dynamite day.
Hi, bud. How are you? Someone freaking out? Move out of my way. Move off. Get, stay off the road. This is Arthur Morgan's road, not your road, whoever you are, stranger. I should have cut. I should have done the shortcut. Nope, I didn't take the shortcut. Now I go the incredibly long way. More smoke, which probably means more dialogue. So hang on, I'm going to go check that out. Hey, he's coming along. It was barely built last time. Hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. What? We're what happened? About, we're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I, I, I hate to ask, but... but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Actually, I if I could. Well, set. I ain't promising nothing, but I'll see what I can do. There's a logging camp over in Big Valley, pretty much straight west of here, that might have lumber for sale. Huh? He said he has said straight west from here. Is it here? Oh, I should just gave him a hundred. Excuse me, sir. Don't have to work now. Oh shush. Where'd he go? I was gonna ask him about the thing. Oh, I should just given him the hundred. I have three hundred. Oh, dag nabbit! I was going to. Oh, there's nothing that way. Progress. Uh, I'm 11th percent through the story. That kind of makes me sad, but okay. Maybe here. Missions. Strangers. Bounties. I'll tell you, there's only five. Chance encounters. Oh. Gang hideout. Okay. I don't know. It, it, please, someone let me know about that one if you can. Because I, I want to do that. I should just give him the hundred. Should just give him a hundred. Hey there, mister. Howdy. Man, I'm kind of sad about that. I should just give him the hundred. If I gave him the hundred, I would not have to worry about it. But now, since I didn't give him a hundred, I'm gonna have to worry about it. Hounds! Oh, Mr. Downs! I'm not going to enjoy this one, am I? Hello, dog. I'll go through the back door. He'll never see it coming. Oh, it's locked. Are you in the barn, per chance? Uh, I don't think he's here. All right, I'll go check the front door. Maybe that'll get his attention. Oh. Oh, hi. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <laughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? 
You owe me money. I'm not going to oh, enjoy no, this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm. I'll... Really? <laughs> Certainly, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. Oh, it's not giving me the other options. Do good or are you? If you're running out on debt, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please, please show some. Oh wait, I wasn't close please. enough. Drowse told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Now nah, let's see what Arthur says next. Yeah, it's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. All right. We took your word. Now we'll take your hand. Be reasonable. <laughs> this is him being reasonable. <laughs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? I don't like this one. Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Oh, I didn't think I could feel worse than the, than the other one. Um, I, I didn't think I could feel worse than the last episode. I was wrong. Where is Arthur going? Oh no, he got blood on him. Who am I going to talk to? Ah, oh, Strauss. I have more money than the camp does. Because I'm the only one that helps the camp around here. Everyone else relies on me. What are they going to do when I quit giving them the money? And start looking out for just myself? I'm going to find how to, uh, how to get lumber. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Yeah, the problem is, if you go for people that are too desperate, you won't get anything from them. What could I have possibly done better? I don't like you, game. Did he just say Uncle Arthur? I have to turn and talk to him now. All right. You okay? I'm bored. <laughs> That's all the well, subtitles just said. Find some mischief to get up to. Okay, Uncle Arthur. <sighs> oh no, not you. Morgan? Nope, not even. So where to next? I'm not doing Duchess just yet. That I'm saving till next episode. I may not have a choice. I may have to do Duchess. I want no. You know what? I'm gonna head to Jose. Hang on, where's Jose at? Emerald Ranch. I can go get a stagecoach because that's closer. I'll go up, get a stagecoach, head to Emerald Ranch, and do Jose's quest. He's saying I don't know how to do the lumber thing. <sighs> Dang, now I would have liked to do the lumber thing. I don't know how to do it though. Come on, girl. 
should just give him the hundred. I can make that money back. I could have made the money back. No problem. I could have made the money back. I'm going the wrong way because I'm following the marker. I could have easily made that money back though. But no, I had to do this. No, I should have just given him the hundred. I just saw it was a hundred and I saw there was an accept button. So I thought maybe I can just get out of it. But no, that damn it. I should have done the hundred. I like how the marker is actually going the way I need it to go for right now. Go over here. Go up here. What do you mean? Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Hello, mister. Oh, it is you. I did run. I, yeah, I ran across hey, this guy. Mister, I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey. Oh, I got his name though. Fella's name. Now you'll never see him again, and you'll be sad, like when your puppy passed, because you slept on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's your name, Mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. <laughs> Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. This is like the this is so this is saddening. Name. Like a this king. is saddening. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Oh good good king, king Arthur, seriously? Uh, King Arthur, he says. Alright, look, I need to go to the Emerald Ranch. Emerald Ranch. 450! Yeah, that's pocket change at this point. Come on, the horse! Whoa. Why did we stop? What just blocked us? Was it my horse? So his name was Mickey. Poor guy. They had to get really realistic with him, didn't they? Well, here we are. And my ass isn't too flattened either. Thanks, mister. You help didn't, me. Didn't, did, don't care. Okay then, girl. Like, actually just do not care. Yeah. Hiya, Jose. Where are you at, Jose? I was here the last time. But I didn't have time to deal with you. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know, Jose. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. <laughs> trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. I was about to say, you don't look that old. You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let yeah. us prove it to you. Well, at least, the, yeah, him and Arthur aren't. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. <laughs> a beautiful so, stolen. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Wait, is this how I get a stagecoach? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dead. I just, it's just up the train track, nearly so killed, a, killed a man in front of his family. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. 
Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And By marriage. It. You heard the man, let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> <laughs> By marriage. We're gonna go rob a man. By marriage. <laughs> Excuse me, why is that map marker still there? Move that. I hit pause. Why is you not Arthur got the horse? Really? Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Look out, Arthur. The other one has been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Man, can I talk to him about the bear encounter? Oh, I can't. Hey, right, full speed ahead. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. He's not wrong. Spot defense wagons and coaches. That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. No, worse, we'll be doing that later. Coach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage. We should hang up our by marriage. You just now tell me this. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place, the gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Wow, me getting here fast cut the dialogue short that I wanted to hear. We should go on foot from here. You don't say. Let's see what we're dealing with. I don't need the double barrel because I'm all out of the kill, so. Oh! That's a lot of smoke. There's the house. I see the barn yeah. in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. How are we playing this? Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. First time I've used binoculars in like 20 years. We can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Uh, we're here. So let's see how this goes. Oh, no. Sure. All right, then. And it doesn't look like there's a lot of people me. here. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and keep moving. If I fail the mission, I'll just retry it. <laughs> Trial and error until I succeed. How am I going to get in the house? Just thought of that. Because doing this during the day means no one's here and everyone's awake. See, if I do it at night, I have to break in. $25, that's it. How many years? I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. Let's just chat. Sure. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling uh, uh, your, uh, Junior. What's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Dip. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. Both of you. My name. My name is. I don't tell no one. Because in New York, I'm kind of famous. That's gotta be worth like 10 bucks. Not important or relevant. I've been saved. I've been found. You think I'm a nut? You think I'm a nut? I'm not a religious man. Respects them. I respect I 
got something better. Way better than church. I can't take it because I'm full. <laughs> what in the world is he saying? I should be a decent chunk, ten bucks. The music that's playing right now, I'm loving it. I want to just close everything up. I just need five more dollars? Don't tell me it's because of that. Oh wait, there's a box right there. Hang on, before I do this... Let me just go in here and shut all this. I'm leaving no trace. Necklace that sh oh, there's also a money clip. Pearl necklace already put me up. <laughs> I got fifty-five dollars. I got ten more. Uh, okay. How long is Jose gonna take? Cause though Neville, ne though Neville, no, it's me, Neville. What? Wh I can't say. They'll never know it was me. Why is taking Jose so long? Because I shut everything so they won't know. You done, Arthur? Yep. Covered my tracks so well they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Get on, dear boy. Oh, that's cool. I had to go around the other side. Maybe they won't know this. Why are we going so slow? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm surprised. So shocked. There's no shot they catch us. Unless they call in the cavalry. What? So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. Just keep whistling for the horse. Oh, it really was. No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. 
wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, <laughs> Yeah, back on our feet. I have three or three or four dollars. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. He needs to open the other door. Open the other door. Seamus, we met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. He didn't say it by marriage. You forgot the by marriage part. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, yeah. Sure. I don't need to do anything out here. My next mission is at camp anyway. Is Dutch, which I don't think I'll be doing this episode. Arthur, take the mask off. He didn't take the mask off. Arthur! Arthur! Take the mask off! Thank Nebel Arthur, you had one job, it was remove the mask. Well, it's good to be back at camp through a quick cut scene and not cost me 450. How much money did I make for that anyway? I wasn't really paying attention. I don't think I made any actually. Hey Arthur, take the mask up before someone gets the wrong idea. Oh, I could have talked to him. Hey, I got $75. Okay, what I mess up? Liver the loot everything. I'm sorry if my bag was full. Next time, I'll throw a glass bottle on the ground. Will that make you happy? Don't get spotted. I was wondering what Hosea was saying. You can now sell stolen wagons at C to Seamus at the wagon fence at Emerald Ranch. In addition to buying stolen wagons, the fence... Yes! Absolutely yes! Okay, I'm gonna go put horse over here and probably end the video. Because I doubt I have enough time to do another quest. Or job, or whatever these things are called. Missions! Ah, horse should like that. So, today's been semi-successful. You know, slightly depressing. Well, actually no, it started off with just killing some of Driscoll's. Worth it. Then it, then it got depressing. Not worth it. And then it became uh, worth it again by stealing coaches. Don't tempt me, you repulsive little maggot. What are you yelling at? You missing your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Well, good talking to you. It's actually really cool how you became part of it. That'll be it. Not by much choice. It was either join or die. Why was everything so foggy for a second there? No, what was that? Well, anywho, I have a lot of money. <laughs> uh, I'll contribute another. I'll contribute uh, 25 to the camp just to keep up the uh, the looks of. Hey, I'm still helping the camp. Look, you'll ne they'll never know I have almost 400. Plus, that gave me honor. See that honor bar? It's not moved at all. Uh, really quickly, is there anything in the ledger that's worth account? Liddy! Liddy finally contributed! Charles could... Charles, poor black bear pelt Liddy necklace. You know it's bad when the necklace is worth more than the bear pelt. Um... Huh. Throwing knives, shotgun shells, 
All this stuff's way too expensive. Let's do this, shall we? Let's upgrade our provisions. I'm a mother. Okay, I'm trying to end this on a listen all you want, but it's the truth. I'm afraid. First time in my life. I know, my dear. Well, what are we gonna do? Is Dutch a I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Arthur, stop being strange and tell her to make plans. <laughs> Listen to Jose, Abigail. <laughs> I just wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Oh, hi, Jack. Need you calm. <laughs> All right, Jack. Okay. Can Arthur say anything else? It's going to be all right. You really think so? Things will turn around. They always do. Well, anywho... It's been ages since I walked over to a cliff and ended an episode in any game I've played. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. <laughs> this was uh, a, a, a roller coaster of a lot of things. But anywho, uh, next time, I believe we are going to go and rescue Sean. What's this? Fort Riggs Holding Camp. Why is that marked? Why do I feel like when I go down there... Oh. Oh, well, that's fun. That's a big bounty, isn't it? I could pay off my bounty and let the rest of the gang just do it and fend for themselves. But regardless, next time I'm heading down here to do that. And depending on what happens, I may go check out whatever that is. In the meantime, I'm going to try to figure out how to do the log thing for the help with the house that next to Valentine. Either anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye and good luck.